Hi, my name is Kosi Gamera. I'm a senior at IMG and I do throws for the track and field program. I had a natural talent for throwing that I didn't know I had, but it was a matter of being in an appropriate circumstance. I didn't really realize that I could go to college for throwing until that conversation with Coach Mark and until I felt it for myself that I could actually be good at something that I didn't even know I had the talent for at the time. I'm Coach Mark. I'm the throws coach here at IMG Academy. It's my first year here. My first impressions of Kosi was that she was just a dynamic athlete right off the go. She came here in a camp setting and she really didn't come here with any expectations as far as being a thrower. She was just coming here to be a better track athlete. She really has this personality to where people like gravitate towards her. She's a leader in the classroom, in the rings, in the gym, in the weight room. Whatever we're doing, we're just doing medicine ball work. I mean, she's a leader. So my name is Marcus Hawkins. I'm a mental coach here at the Academy. I work with football and basketball and track and field. You know, there's a huge adjustment coming into the Academy. There's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of people. There's a lot that we ask of our athletes. What we see with the successful athletes are the athletes who really tap into those resources. She was pretty easy to build that relationship. One of the first things that I really picked up on from a mental perspective was her self-awareness. I'd also say Coach Marcus has a really big role as well. He's a very nurturing and understanding person and he has an emotional intelligence that's like through the roof. And for that, I attribute a lot of my success to him because he's been there when I needed him. She has a will to just be the best at everything she does, whether it's in the classroom or it's in the ring. I think that's something that really is a contributor to her success. And she takes advantage of what is around her as well. You know, there's not a lot of heavy lifting that Kosi requires because she, she comes in with an incredible sense of self-awareness. Essentially, Kosi and I, we meet more or less uh, weekly. We meet as needed. Um, so sometimes that might look like a quick one-on-one. -on -one maybe a 45 minute meeting before a competition, just making sure that she's in the right headspace. Other times it could look like just a walk and talk out on a track. I didn't realize how fast things went by because it truly was about only seven months of throwing that I've ever you know, had before winning the national championship. But honestly, it was a really like, jam-packed seven months full of experiences and full of hardships and tribulations and things of that matter. Her potential is very high. She has, again, she has a high ceiling. You know, she's going to be going to Vanderbilt. She's signed at Vanderbilt now. Once she gets into the SEC kind of strength and conditioning program and some of those things and some of the practice sessions with her, I think the sky's the limit. I think she's going to score in the SEC very, very early in her career, and then you know later in her career, she has a chance to do some special things. I, mean, I can't help but feel proud. I want to be part of this experience. I want to be able to contribute to a community that values effort and hard work and motivation and I can't help but feel very proud that I've accomplished that and I contributed to that goal that I really wanted to succeed in.